Oh my gosh, you guys, I almost forgot to record. I forgot I was doing Vlogmas. So today it is currently 6.30 in the morning. I've been up since five o'clock getting the kids together, dropping them off at my mother's house so that I can be at clinicals this morning. Again, if you guys saw my video, clinicals is just something that we do in school just to execute all the skills that we have learned so far. Um, I have clinicals from seven to three o'clock, so all day. So I'm gonna be nice and tired and I still have to come back to when I get home, I still have to study. So Mondays and Tuesdays are really difficult for me sometimes, but you know. Oh yeah, before I stop, um, sorry that I stopped the vlog yesterday abruptly because my phone died. But um, after we left the mall, I just came home and I made this like broccoli chicken cheese casserole and the boys tore it up. So it turned out really good. And then I just did my hair. Um, and then we got in bed pretty early, like 10, I would say, this person right right across the way is looking at me all crazy hopefully they think I'm on FaceTime right now but okay I'll see you guys really soon bye oh, it's the afternoon we're doing homework okay I'm gonna make a new video which is going to be today so stay tuned Say hi. Say hi. Hey, you guys. It's much, much, much later. Right now, I'm just about to do my homework like I always do. I am... I'm not necessarily at the moment where I'm like completely burnt out of school, but I'm just kind of anxious. I have all A's in my classes right now, but that still doesn't take away the anxiety of, you know, unknowing, like going into finals week, which isn't until like the latter part of January, but still like that's kind of been my mindset since it's about four or five weeks away I want to start preparing for final suite because I have so many classes and just like the anxiety of even just preparing to get to that point so I could I go through my my days most of the time a lot of people in my class like always ask me how do I stay so confident and cool calm and collective and that's usually just like my temperament but honestly like Sometimes there's like a war on the inside that I I don't usually wear it on my sleeve at all. But um, it's good to get it out sometimes. I know I'll be fine. It's just getting there. I really haven't opened up about like the program and everything that I am in. So I'll probably do like a separate video on that. But um, I go to a full-time nursing program and it's from 8 to 3 30 every single day and then clinicals are on mondays and tuesdays for this trimester at least um from 7 to 3 so all day monday through friday and then after which i have to do homework and study and it's a lot i study all night long and um, I've always heard about how like hard nursing school is and it's not necessarily just the material the material is tough like I'm not trying to downplay that but it's also like the dedication and the studying that you have to put into like I I totally underestimated it and even last trimester um, I studied a lot but this time oh it's just they turned it up on us which I mean I understand that they have to do that because we have people lives literally in our hands <laughs> so I understand I appreciate um, I appreciate it because I know it's gonna make me an awesome nurse and I've heard testament after testament of how great the program is and it's been around for over 60 years so it's it's a very very good program it's been in the city for a very long time so I'm just trusting the process and trying not to get overwhelmed and trying not to get discouraged. I usually only get like that maybe. I don't get like that often. Um, sometimes I get anxious and then it always turns out okay. So 
I'm believing now that everything is going to turn out okay. Um, so, yeah, I'm just over here. So, these are some problems. It's actually math, but it's not like your typical fractions or anything. It is pharmacology math so we have to do measurements and conversions oral and parental dosage calculations reconstitution calculations IV flow rate calculations and weight-based calculations so we have a required math exam that we have to get a 90 on or we fail basically and we have to retake the test over again but and we still have to get a 90 percent but the first grade that we get is what stands in the grade book so uh, 40 points is a lot, so I want to make sure that I get 100%, not 90%. I'm going to go ahead and continue to study, but I just wanted to update you guys on what I'm doing at the moment, so see you soon. Hey, you guys. So I know I look crazy right now, but I just literally walked through the door. Um, today is Wednesday. I honestly forgot the date. It's either like the 6th, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's about the 6th. Anyways, I just walked through the door. They let us out a little bit early from school. I'm still in my scrubs. You have to wear scrubs to school. Um, and so I was able to stop off at the grocery store. So I'll go ahead and show you guys what I got from the grocery store. It's gonna be kind of like a medley of random things. Like I decided since we got out early, I'll be able to actually cook dinner tonight, which I don't honestly get to do so every night just because of school and studying and everything. So I wanted to make shrimp pasta. That's one of our favorites. Marcus loves shrimp. So I decided that I wanted to go ahead and make some. So let me go ahead and show you guys what I got. Okay, so in this, well, obviously these are just bananas. I love bananas. My daughter loves bananas. We usually eat this for afternoon snack and I honestly eat these for breakfast as well. And then, yeah, I like to buy them a little bit green um, because this is gonna last me a couple days. So I don't want to have to throw these out sooner than I would like to do so. So I buy these pretty green so that they can ripen over the days. But of course, when they're this color, I don't like them. But once they ripen up, they taste amazing and I also like to use them as a smoothie as I showed you guys a couple days ago so what do you guys like do you guys like to buy your bananas and eat them kind of green or do you like them nice and ripened and do you buy them ripened so let me know in the comments all right here is my shrimp I got a pound of shrimp I don't know if I'm gonna use the whole shrimp but I go to the butcher not the butcher the meat counter I just go to the meat counter and I get the fresh shrimp um, I like you get the best deal that way and yeah, so it was about $10. I might use about a half a pound. I might use it all, I don't know. But um, that should last us for a while. We are some shrimp eaters. We love shrimp, so like to keep that on hand. I love these little Debbie cakes. These are my absolute favorite. I've already opened that, as you can see, but I only ate one. So I did have some self-control when it came to these, but these are my absolute favorite. Hopefully one day I'll be able to stand above it and not buy these. I'm gonna put some grape tomatoes in with my shrimp. So here's that. And I have some freshly shredded Parmesan cheese. That's gonna go in the shrimp pasta. And I like to grab these for lunch um, when I don't, I haven't really made anything. This is a really, really good lunch to have. I always bring two of them and then I have either, I get bread, or I bring some crackers with me and it's actually really really good or a tortilla I also like to make a wrap wraps out of these so they're really really good so you guys should try these I like the Thai chili the best they have other flavor they have other flavors like lemon pepper and hickory smoked and ranch I haven't tried the ranch but so far and if you guys don't know Thai chili is like my favorite like flavor of all time so these are so good so I got four of those and this is random, but I got a seafood salad. But I wanna do a taste test. Like so, I'm excited to taste it. I just bought some purified water for the baby. Let me make sure, yeah, I got the fluoride um, because she has teeth, she has many teeth. She has so many teeth now. So the doctor told me just to get some water with fluoride or I could use um, sink water from the tap, but like our tap water isn't filtered and I just, well, I guess it, it shouldn't be filtered if you want the fluoride in it. Anyway, I just didn't, I don't drink just like out the faucet and I think, I don't think it's right for me to drink out the faucet, even though he said it is. I don't know, I have something about that. 
So I just got this nursery water for her bottles. Okay, and just some more stuff for the babies. Just this Beech Nut Naturals, just spinach, zucchini, peas. Um, I just got a different, I just got some variety, different flavors and everything so that the baby can enjoy. Um, she likes this. These, so I just wanted to try these out, see what she liked. And I also needed to get another thing, which I was so upset because I wanted to get it from Audi because you get the best deal at Audi. But I got this Simple Truth Organic Coconut Oil, Unrefined, Cold Press, Virgin. It says vegan somewhere on here. Vegan. They made sure to hit all aspects, right? Even though coconut oil is always vegan, but okay. Anyway. Um, I just got this because mine actually just like cracked. Somehow it fell into the sink and just shattered glass everywhere. So I just needed to buy a another one. So this actually wasn't too bad. It was like $6, which I still think that's a really good deal. Um, the Simple Truth Organic, which is the Kroger brand, I think, organic line. So salaries isn't half bad and I really really needed some so I'm glad I picked that up but yeah that is my grocery haul so hey you guys it's the next day it is Thursday the 7th and I've been completely horrible trying to vlog every single day but honestly I'm mostly studying all day and sometimes I kind of let my anxiety get the best of me and I don't want to do anything but like worry about my grades and worry about study. So I apologize for that, but it's just the nursing school woes that I go through. So hopefully you guys got a bit of a taste of what I do on the weekends. I think I'm going to end the vlogmas on Thursdays and then just start over again on Fridays just like I did for last week. So um, yesterday I did not end up making the food markets just brought something home because I didn't have time I needed to study I had two tests major tests yesterday but good news I got a really really good grade on my math test that I was telling you guys about a couple days ago so that turned out really well and I'm just waiting for the grades I feel really good about the two tests that I took today I doubt myself a lot but I've been successful and I just owe that all to God to Jesus Christ because I know it's only by his hand that I'm even getting this far into school and even giving me the drive the determination and the willpower just to like quit my job and go after what I want and what I've been wanting so um it's crazy because sometimes like with a test, I'm not really sure about an answer. I'm not sure how to answer. Like I just pray really quick and it's like the idea just like pops into my head. Like I'm just thankful. I'm thankful. I just sometimes in the morning when I'm feeling discouraged or feeling overwhelmed because you will go through that going through nursing school. You will feel discouraged and you will feel overwhelmed, especially if you have families. Anybody will, but especially when you have families, you have kids, you have other responsibilities. Um, you just have to, she has my flashcards and she's balling them up. Okay. You just have to, um, thank God for the little things. Thank God you have that car that you're driving. Even if it's not your car, just thank God that you have a mode of transportation to get to school. Um, thank God that you have a lunch to eat. Just keep things simple. Just thank God for the simple things and then he will reward you with much. So that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for joining me. Happy Vlogmas. I will see you guys next week. Take care. Bye. Say bye. Blow kisses. Mwah.